ecstasy. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. That's how I do it. I know I can talk when I hear myself. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Mind Minx Show. I am your favorite Mind Minx, and we are live here with Mix Vibes Radio, as we always are. Okay, so I have a couple special stories for today. Not only do I have the most amazing guest, not going to lie, Frankie Negron. Hello. Did I say it right? You said it right. I did? Yeah, you did. Thank you very much. But we are at the rooftop for Roses at Park, which, by the way, is the background that you see, and it is beautiful up here. It is nice. It's very nice. I wanted to give a special shout out because we got here. All right, I'm going to tell the story again. So... Right now, we are in transition from our own studio. We're going to be moving to a new one, so we got to build it and all that fun stuff. Sure. So I've been going um, around the area the whole summer, which has been cool to be on location. Yeah. Where we were supposed to be today started giving me a bad vibe. Yeah. Super bad vibe. That I was like, fuck that. Give me a minute. Yeah. And I made a phone call to, his name is Blue York City. If you don't know who Blue Rivera is, you need to follow him right now. He is the premiere on everything happening in the New York City area. And he's like, give me five minutes. Yeah. And he found you this spot. He found me this. <laughs> and this is so much better than a barber shop a in super Queens. Barber. So, yeah, yeah. We're good. Mm-hmm. yeah, we're good. I love this. <laughs> I, t- I asked you if he could say something. <laughs> she said no filters. So no yeah. filters. <laughs> All right, so got a nice breeze going. It's up super here, nice too. up here. Yeah, nice so breeze, thank you so much for coming. I can't tell you how excited. I can't tell you how many people in my family are excited that That's you're awesome. on today. That's awesome. Thank you. So thank let's you. talk about Frankie. Okay. Where? All right. So I already did my homework. So I'm gonna give you tidbits, and then I want you to like talk about it. This is sure. you know. So like, I'm also from Newark, so this is super exciting to hear that you were born in Newark. Yeah, born and raised. Newark, New Jersey, right. in Jersey, the house. Brick city, yep. yep, Brick born City. And, and you went Jersey to- Bronx, so it works that we're in the Bronx. <laughs> yeah. is, is it really? Is it the Bronx? Is it Jersey? Uh, yeah, there's, a, there's a mutual respect there, you know. As much as New Yorkers wouldn't, wouldn't want to admit it, but uh, I did a I did a movie called Boricua's Bond and it was filmed in the South Bronx and I felt like I was home like I, I didn't have to act because it felt like how I grew up in North so I did read that you were in that movie yeah. how was that experience being that you're uh, an artist a singing artist to go to the acting I actually I started as an actor that's the oh, thing oh really yeah no the, all, the, the movie was filmed when I was 16 uh, I didn't drop my debut album until 19 I was on Broadway at 17 so uh, I started Paul as Simon actor. Paul Simon yeah, yeah. yeah. that's exciting so how- yeah I was 17 and I was on a Broadway musical. <laughs> he says it so nonchalantly. <laughs> no, I mean no. I mean I, I, I mean it's amazing. It's amazing. You know, I've 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 lived an amazing blessed life already. You know. Definitely so, have. Definitely have had had some angels looking after me. And good karma by my side. So. Well, so you do you come from a, a musical family? Not professionally, but but yes, musical in that you know my dad my dad sings and writes like typical like typical musica uh-huh, like uh-huh. what they call trova basically folklore okay. Puerto Rican uh-huh. mountain music hillbilly okay. Puerto Rican music I, I like to call it um, trovador you know uh, he did that he's always done that and uh, other than that. I didn't know on my mom's side of the family we had singers because my mom doesn't have a musical note in her, in her, you know, in her boat, in her body. And then recently, I found out my uncle is an amazing singer on my mom's side. Oh, so wow. I'm like, okay, so it's on both sides of the family. So that was pretty cool. But you're not the only one who sings in your family, are I'm not you? Not the only one that sings in my family. No. Can my we s- talk about Jackie? We can absolutely talk about Jackie. Jackie's uh, my baby. You know, there's a big age difference. I was 13 when she was born. So, oh wow. Yeah, so she was my baby for a long time. You know. We have a very special bond. But your brother doesn't? 
No, no, he doesn't. He doesn't even dance. But you know. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys got but, it uh, all. <laughs> we got all the musical. But my no, but my brother's amazing in his own right. My brother, you know, my brother owns his own company in South Florida for for security. You know, called Tactical Crime Prevention. Anybody need security? Nice out shout there? out. Yeah. You know, look, make sure you look up my brother out there. So. Very cool. So you went to. All right. So wait, wait. wait. I don't want to get to art high because I think I read that you went to uh, an art grammar school also or well, was well no i mean I, I i got into arts and grammar school mm -hmm. meaning you know back in the you know back in the day we could call it now <laughs> you know arts in the schools was actually a thing right they weren't eliminating that especially when you went to a like catholic school like private school like arts were a thing mm -hmm. so yeah that's kind of like where i started like honing my my music you know at, at, at Our Lady of Good Counsel, good old Catholic school. I went to, Ar no, I didn't. My cousin did. Your cousin went to, to old GC? Council. Yeah, I went to St. Michael's. St. Michael's, I know St. Michael's. My sister went to St. Michael's. Yeah. Yeah. So. But I'm significantly older than your sister if you're 13 year old. Oh, yeah. Older than her. Oh, yeah, yeah. My sister's, uh, what, 32 now? Oh, yeah. God bless her. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So, but you went to Arts High. I went to Arts High. Now, I, I want everybody to get a feel for what it means to be accepted. If you got to apply to Arts High, you need to be accepted to Arts High. It's like going to one of the, the technical schools in the Bronx. Yeah. You don't just, you know, sign up and go like we do in yeah. regular high schools. Yeah. So what, did you have to audition? Like, had to remember? audition, yeah. I mean, it was, it, it was grades, it was discipline. You know, you can have been suspended or expelled and none of that. And, uh, you know, you have to have the talent, right? Mm -hmm. uh, either for art, for drama, you know, or singing. I mean, being Puerto Rican, I had all, you know, because we're pretty we're so dramatic. dramatic. We're so dramatic people. <laughs> so, did never, you know, we just auditioned. It was like just remembering what my mom's, like, novelas were. And just kind of auditioned for the acting part. But why? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Te vas conmigo. <laughs> Ahora. Exactly. Cheers the voice of <laughs> So, did, uh, all right, so you did that for, and then did you, I'm trying to segue the best way I can to bass harmony. Like, how did that happen? You know, um, bass harmony was interesting and awesome until this day it plays a role in my music. You know, it, it was funny. I'm like this, this little pale, skinny Puerto Rican kid of like, you know, I weighed all of like 110 and I had like these football player African-American buddies of mine that looked like my bodyguards <laughs> on stage, like twice my size. And uh, I'm like the lead singer in this group, acapella, doo-wop group, uh, you know, with my guys, Sean, uh, Dante, rest in peace, Sean, he recently passed away, uh, da Dante and Raquan and, you know, the guys. You know, I grew up very, very African American neighborhood. You know, mm -hmm. grew up listening to a lot of the the R and B, hip hop, doo wop, influenced me musically. Which till this day is funny because you know every every like artist has an entourage. Well, I have a very small entourage, but my but my entourage is all my brothers, like all the brothers you know that I grew mm -hmm. up with. In the, in mm -hmm. the you know they you know being a salsero, it kind of throws people off. You know, my guys are walking in with the you know fitted and stuff. And like, Wait, what? <laughs> Frankie naked? Oh, like this is his crew? You know? Because they don't, they don't know the background how I grew up. Well, nobody, but you don't exactly, uh, we don't have the stereotypical life of what we should look like. Oh, not at all. You know what I mean? Not at all. Not at all. But not only that, like, you know, I've, 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 I've always embraced the fact that, you know, I, I've, I'm different. I mean, I'm not, you know, I love Hiberto, I love Victor, Jenny, all these guys, but I'm not that. You mm -hmm. know, I don't come from that, you know, so... And you I've definitely infuse all of that into your music. I remember oh, yeah, reading 100%. an yeah, article 100%. that you had, had were interviewed, and you said that you do the, like the whole the doo wop is well, a, like Princesa has a very doo wop uh, mm -hmm. melody vibe. The the bass line is boom, boom, doo -doo 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 -doo, which is a very doo wop you know bass line. The harmonies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you hear all of that, yeah. You know, so it might go over the head of some people that don't know the background of doo-wop, but, you know, it's there, mm -hmm. you know, and it became one of my biggest hits, so. Yes, I, I, we need to, somebody to look it up, how many times Princessa has been used as a Sweet 16 song. <laughs> Probably a lot. I mean, you should get, get royalties just for that. I get that a lot. I should get royalties for every time they use a Sweet 16. I'd probably be a very, very, I'd probably have a place in Dubai at this point, you know. So, all right, so you, all right, let me, 
So, all right, let's talk about your albums. You have four gold and platinum albums. Uh, yeah. Is that four, still? Four out of seven, yeah. Four out of seven. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. So it's more than half. Yeah, more than half. Two greatest hits album, which is weird to me before the age of 50 to have. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. And yeah, you have nine it. Billboard Top 40. Nine. Now it's up to 10. Oh, is we it? We have to update that bio. The latest single, this that they cracked. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Crack, crack. The, this the, the, that is amazing. Yeah. Thank you. I love Thank that you. song. I was playing yeah. it. So I tell you the story. I was playing your music yeah. at work, doing my work, and my the seven year old comes yeah. up to me. He's like, "Can you put headphones on or yeah. lower that?" Yeah, 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 yeah. And I said, "Absolutely not." <laughs> I put it higher. He's, put it higher. He hasn't talked to me yet. He hasn't talked to you then. since. <laughs> well, good. It was for a good reason. <laughs> so. so, what was it like? All right. So, I when you write your songs, when you're doing your music, yeah. Is your intention to have that Billboard hit, or like, is there? Oh, never, never, never. I don't listen to radio. Really? I've never listened to radio. Not FM, not anything. Like, not top four. I don't listen to radio. So you're just doing this for you. I'm doing this for me. You know, that's why my stuff doesn't doesn't sound like anybody else's because I'm not out there listening. Oh man, this hit. Let me do the next. You know, vivir mi vida. Let me do the next. Like, amores como el nuestro. You know what I mean? I'm, I, I literally don't listen to, I'm, I'm weird, I know, but I don't listen to radio. I do, will check out like YouTube channels of music of independent artists. There's a lot of really cool stuff, like this younger generation, you know, and I'm looking at, you know, one right now and who'll know what I'm talking about. Like they discover a lot of music, like a lot of like stuff that you'll never hear on like, you know, mainstream radio or mainstream platforms that is really dope really, across, across genres. That's what I listen to, you know, that's what I try to listen to, you know. How do you keep up, being that we are getting older, how do you keep up with how it's evolving, how music is evolving? Well, I mean, just, you know, my, my nieces and nephews, I get to be the cool uncle still, so they keep me informed and keep me up to date with everything that's going on, you know, and I, and I stay, and I try to stay current. You know, I'm not trying to, like, you know, be a kid, but, you know, I, I, I tend to keep a, a lot of people to, uh, around that are... Um, that are in that that age range you know what i mean mm-hmm. to, to keep me current you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so so yeah do you do you ever have issue like with the the new slang like when, when we were young you know something was dope and we you, you actually, well dope is still is around still? yeah dope came back you know and i and i and i you know i gotta say that you know my niece and nephew um let me know that dope is back like because i saw i heard them using it you know? did they maybe it's regional maybe it's not everywhere but like philly you know, okay. I have a lot of my nieces and nephews that, that grew up in Philly and they use dope all the time. How, how do you feel about the other slang that, like, you know, I literally had to watch a video. Yeah, yeah. I like, I like, <laughs> I, I really like this one where it's like you're talking to somebody and they're like, say less. Oh, I say like less. that one too. I like that yeah. one. You know, I, I've adopted that one. I like that one. But simping, like, I can't get yeah, on simping. Yeah, yeah, I can't get on that one. Um, a lot of the um, acronyms, like, you know, in text, like, mm-hmm. I have to, like, look up. You know, like I'm not tbh yeah tbhd or fr whatever you know BRB. there's like a billion of them yeah well, brb is something oh, brb feel, everybody yeah, know knows that. be right back <laughs> but there's some that is like you know eight letters long and i don't know what it is so i gotta look some some of those up but other than that it's cool do you ever try to integrate that new youth um information into your music now oh yeah 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 i mean there's a fine line right you know you don't want to be like that guy that's like you know oh he's trying too hard to stay young or be young but you know by the same token you know because my music was like a fusion type Mm -hmm. you know um i feel like younger people still could relate to it because i think it was ahead of its time a lot of it um i'll do festivals right like these latin festivals and i'll get like the young the youngins that come out because their parents drug them out um to my show and then towards the end of the set they're like digging it and i see them like kind of like oh wait a minute this is cool you know i like this like a vibe you know so i like doing that i think that's amazing because i feel like a lot of your well so for instance last night we got to see you perform at coquito blue in whitestone um which was amazing it was a very mixed crowd age-wise super yeah, mixed I, crowd I, I, I looked out there was definitely like 
everything from 21 to like up to like 70 was wild yeah yeah and you had such an engaging energy with everybody and i remember you saying i like it here because i can see you and like a big I can arena see you. yeah the yeah. big yeah, lights I mean, you I've, can't I've see i've done i've been blessed to do barclay center three times madison square garden wow. like eight, and that's amazing don't yeah. get me wrong the orange bowl in miami before before you know they tore it down i, I remember performing for sixty thousand people and that's amazing wow. that's a different kind of amazing right yeah but like to be able to be on stage and see people's faces and their reactions and where they can shout at you and you actually hear it you can't ignore it you know <laughs> and they're like trying to talk to you but you That's, weren't trying to ignore it no i wasn't I'll, I'll never ignore my people yeah. but like you know um very rarely do i get a heckler too but we'll get to that but um, oh no we're gonna get oh, right, i know right, we're right, gonna get right, to right. that one i know <laughs> but um but you know i, I love interacting with my people they were so great. They were, because you, you did your set and you're like, does anybody want to hear anything? What did everybody yell? I just. I, it, it was princesa, It was between Princesa and uh, Comerita Besos, those two. Uh huh. Yeah, the people were yelling, yeah. They were singing with you. Yeah. yeah. That was pretty cool. That And I That's told you this awesome. the energy, because I, you know, pretty listening awesome. to music is There was a few amazing. birthdays being celebrated, mm -hmm. which was nice. You know, if, if you if you're coming out to my show for, for, for your birthday, then you're getting a shout out, because, you know, that's a big day for you, so. But that was all right. So let's talk about hecklers now. Yeah. Who heckles you? Well, I had an incident not that long ago. No. Where I'm in Orlando, right? Fucking Orlando. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm in Orlando, and um, the band director comes over to the car while I'm waiting to go on. He goes, "Yo, I need you to when you get on stage, or or before we go on stage, I need you to tell the promoters that the DJ." You know that's playing back there and needs to like you know bring down the music before we go on because that's gonna throw us off right i said say less no <laughs> i said i said i got you like don't worry about it you know so i tell my manager said, listen you know the band's saying xyz could you make sure this guy like you know does his thing at least during my set he shouldn't be playing during my set to begin with anyway, anyway right yeah so apparently there was like some opening acts that he was playing over like just being rude right so my band was like, yo, just so you know, this guy's doing this. They got to make sure he stops when we go on. I'm like, that makes sense, right? Let me talk to the promoter. My manager comes back and goes, all right, we're ready to go on. They, they you know, they got the guy to shut, you know, shut down the, the music. So I go on, finish the first song, and boom, I hear the music. So I go, yo, my man, like, you know, do me a favor. Could you lower it or, you know, whatever, shut it off. It's throwing off the band and... As you can see, it's distracting the crowd. They're turning around, you know, whatever. First of all, it shouldn't have been up to me. It should yeah. have been up to management, security, yep. and the event coordinators. But at this point, it's on. So, you know, I said on the mic, right? Lowers a little bit. Finish the second song. Back up. Oh, my god! So, it's a clip that shows literally. It's a five-second clip, right? Well, I go in on this guy. But what they don't show you is the backstory. The backstory was that after the second song... I say, listen, until this goes off, I'm not performing. It's throwing my guys off. And he literally looks at me. You know, I'm looking at him in the crowd. He's front and center. He, he flips me the burden. He grabs, wow. you know, grabs himself. Like, no, fuck you. You Ew. know, like, really went in on me, right? Yeah, for no reason. Ew. So I'm like, so the first thing I thought of was like, okay, did I like fuck his girlfriend? Like, what's going on <laughs> here? Like, why is this guy hell <laughs> hating me for no freaking reason? No, it's literally, I'm like trying to figure out why is this guy hating me? Like, <laughs> I've done nothing to this dude. Like, at this point, it seemed like it was personal, right? So, I lost it. You know, I'm still human, right? And in 25 years, I've never gone in on a quote-unquote fan. I hate the word fan because that guy was clearly not a fan. No. But um, I've never gone in on anybody in the audience, ever. You know, I have self-control. Always have. And that was, like, literally, like, a five-second, like, outburst. Like, you're like you, when you're in your car and you have that road rage for, like, five uh -huh. seconds, and then you catch yourself, like, oh, he's a loser, and you let it go. It was one of those things. Problem is, I'm Frankie Negron, and I did it on and stage at a festival, and recorded everybody it. recorded it. <laughs> so I don't think anything of it. Is after the second song, finished the show. Uh, apparently, you know, it either got my adrenaline going, or the fact that I went in on this guy got some people hot in the audience. Because I mean, I had panties thrown on stage. True story, bras. <laughs> you know, I hadn't had that happen in a long time. It was an amazing show. Signed autographs afterwards, um, and went home. You know, hopped, hopped on a plane, got home. Um, yeah, because it was on Orlando. Yeah, so I came right home and uh, go to sleep. The next morning I wake up 
and it's like all over like social media did it go viral it went very viral molusco who you know is like the latin you know like tmz how it's done with all the followers posted it and goes frankie Nero con flow urbano you know was like the heading <laughs> you know because i went in on this guy and uh you God know you gordo, stand up for yourself, gordo y la flaca um <laughs> la comay in puerto rico lo sé todo like all the top like bochinche like platforms of puerto rico were had it had it on a loop that five second video and it makes me look crazy because all they show is that five second where i'm going in on the guy and flipping him the bird from the stage they don't show you what came before uh -huh. or the great show i did afterwards but that's media right so at first I was like, you know what? I, I got a little like sad, really. Because I said, you know what? You could do like literally everything right, you know, in your entire career for 25 years and they're gonna try to define you for five seconds of humanity, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so it made me sad. And then, I, and then I said, you know what, Frankie, no. You're obviously still, you know, valid. You obviously still have a fan base and you're and you're and you're still in people's mind mm -hmm. if it's even going viral right. embrace it and so, you know what they say any publicity any publicity is good publicity, good publicity. And, I, and i gotta tell you i took the opportunity to really you know uh promote what i was doing and, and, and it was good it was good i picked up a lot of followers the whole thing just because of this five second blip long story short i had to put out a statement uh put out the statement like oh, i'm sorry uh, <laughs> it wasn't but whatever <laughs> I did the, yeah, no, I know I wasn't I, sorry. He deserved it, but no. Yeah, I, no, fuck that. You were being whole, human. Why, whole, why can they act how they want, yeah, but you yeah, can't yeah. defend yourself? I had to put like out that. a whole statement of like, oh, I shouldn't have done this and like whatever. Oh, we, okay, so we're going to talk about astrological signs for a second. Yeah. So my Libra ass would have been passive aggressive and been like, I am so sorry that your action caused me to react in the way that I did. That's, that's, that's what I, totally I my, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Yes, exactly. So there's a website that says that your sign is a Gemini. No, I am not a Gemini. You are not a Gemini. I'm so not a Gemini. <laughs> you need to call out that website. They need to take that down. I'm so not I saw that and I was like, no, his birthday's in January. Absolutely nowhere near Gemini. I, I, Aquariano. Yes, you're an Aquarius. Yeah, yeah. So do you, I, all right, we're Puerto Rican. You have to have some kind of belief in ast astrological and astrology. I do. Well, I do. I mean, I don't follow. I'm not like, you know, what the mercado out here, you know, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm not, any, but. I'm not out here like, you know, Turuna está en martes este día, Aquario. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not doing anything like that. You know? I'm the one but, that's uh, making the moon water every month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not doing anything <laughs> like that. But I am very spiritual. Like, I understand the power of intention. Mm -hmm. I understand the power of positive thinking and uh, manifestation. I'll say that. I believe in that, And how we have too. control of the universe. Yeah, we really I do. We really 100%. do. 100%. Well, let's, uh, let's, I believe that, too, because, and this wasn't even something I manifested. This was just, I want to give a shout out to Jimmy Greco. Mm-hmm who is a friend of mine and a friend of the show and that is how I got to meet you and like that positive energy obviously is something that he felt in me to allow me to have this connection with oh 100 percent. I mean Jimmy is one of my closest friends uh I was in his wedding if Aww. I ever if I ever get married he'll be in mine <laughs> but uh but yeah wait no, did we anybody catch that that means he's single yeah I'm like hello <laughs> lady lady nah but um <laughs> wink wink uh but yeah so you know for me it's uh yeah he's 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 an amazing person and he just attracts so many great things to himself that uh you know anytime i'm with him if he if he told me do the interviews i'm doing it because he knows good people so well so this is my kool-aid smile because i love jimmy he's oh, so jimmy's awesome. amazing jimmy's amazing so everybody loves jimmy well, could you not all right, well, we've gotten to the portion of the show. If anybody has any questions out there in social media land, now is the time to ask them because we're gonna do our game. We're gonna do six degrees of mind minx. Six degrees of mind minx. Okay. So this is where, if you've ever heard of the game, six degrees of Kevin Bacon. I have, yeah. Okay, so we connect Kevin Bacon to whomever a person is in six degrees yeah. or less. So we're Got gonna it. do that with mind minx, your favorite okay. mind minx. So right. who, please say someone I know. <laughs> You say someone you know. <laughs> and everybody gets to help, by the way. So help, that means help. <laughs> that means help, let's see. Wait, how we come you have said we nothing? We, discuss, we discussed one in the car. Yes. But I don't know if that's too obvious. Yeah, because I'm just going to say you. 
Yeah. Unless we're going to segue into a conversation about that. Yeah, so no, let's okay. change that up. Okay. Let's go. Um, Jimmy already said the Pope, so we can't do yeah, that. We can't one do again. the Pope. <laughs> the Bishop. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, no, we'll go. We'll go with. Uh, Ecstasy. Let's I'm go. nervous because I don't know who he's going to say. <laughs> I, have, I don't know who I'm going to say. I'm manifesting now. I'm like, All right. have it come to me. Everybody to has me. to help. Let's go. Let's go, Tito Nieves. Let's go. Everybody get help. Can I help? Yes. Oh, I got the connection? Yeah. I listen to La Mega. There you go. You listen to La Mega. <laughs> and he's always playing all La Mega. That's right. <laughs> okay. She's ready to send me to hell. Like, <laughs> 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 this is why he's not allowed to speak. Like, oh. <laughs> You normally got me banned. I do not. Well, yeah. I'm just glad you have it. All right, so help me out here. So is that it? Is that the no, connection? No, that's of course that's radio. That's like uh, that's kind of like a cheat. No, that is a cheat. Because that'd be like me if, if it was an actor. I'd be saying TV. No. Oh. Uh, that's a cheat. That's a cheat. All right. So who has he worked with? Have you ever worked with him? I have not worked with him. No. Okay. Has Jimmy ever worked with him? <laughs> Jimmy has not. Worked oh. With him. Has he ever worked with Jerry Rivera or Mark Anthony? Yes. Okay, so Mark Anthony, we'll do Mark Anthony. Uh-huh. I interviewed Renally Santiago, who played in Hackers, that also starred Mark Anthony. Who also was in the Cape Man with me, the Broadway musical. Really? Yeah. Oh, Bands. Small world. Six degrees of separation. Oh, there wow. it is. Wow. We brought it home. Oh. You see? Now I'm going to text Renally. Renally, I love Renally. Oh, we, so we, awesome. we were in the play together. Oh, my God. Yeah. See, small world we were talking uh, about. Yeah, that. I was the understudy for Mark, and I was one of the vampires, and he was the leader of the vampires in the Cape Man. Wow. Yeah. I was uh, Salvador Lagron, was, was what I was, which kind of makes sense. Lagron, Lagron kind of <laughs> works. <laughs> so how was it working with Paul Simon? Uh, funny story. Um, I remember when, when he came to see me perform, up i was doing do up in jersey city uh, 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 it was a jewish cultural arts center it was schutzen park in jersey city <laughs> this puerto rican get it for african-americans performing at the jewish art center in uh, jersey city um and the promoter comes up to me afterwards and says uh that somebody wants to meet you somebody very important that's doing a big project that wants to meet you so you know we st- i stay behind and i'm you know i'm a kid you know i'm, I'm with my mom i'm like a teenager and he comes over and he's standing there and the promoter goes you know who that is and i said yeah that's the guy from the chevy chase video (laughs) the comedian chevy chase Uh back in the day so he had the song you can call me out you can call me out paul simon from like back in the day it was like that's what i remember okay because my parents would play that and there was like a music video that Chevy Chase, the comedian, came out in. So that was the first thing that I came out of my head. Not that oh, he's wow. like this legend uh-huh. of like folk America music. It was, oh, you're the guy with the Chevy Chase video. So he laughed. and uh, But he he, forga- he forgave me. He you forgave know, I was a kid <laughs> at the time. So How old you? How old were you? You were 17, right? No, when I met him, maybe 15, 16. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, pretty amazing. Oh, I want to just... All right, so you're still handsome, by the way, so don't take this the wrong way. But, like, you were such a cute, like, 15, 16, 17, 18. Like, that was so... Everybody go look him up. Like, you're still <laughs> handsome, by the way. I don't mean to make that sound like... No, that. no, you're good. You're good. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry but about you it. had the cutest... All right, we got, like, 10 minutes before we get kicked off the rooftop, and my, my engineer tells me that we got to go is there That's anything we, you would this like this is good this is great we got really birthdays that are waiting to, to, to oh we have up. birthdays like they, oh they they're birthdays already waiting up, oh okay you know? big day they get the pretty rooftop for their birthday i it's see i see birthdays we we had a bunch of birthdays uh you know we'll give her a birthday shout what's her name, what's, her what's name? Your let's name? give her a birthday shout you out you want a birthday shout out what is your name birthday oh, shout birthday. out what's your name what's your name leo gang, leo gang. <laughs> happy birthday girl all right, so is there any? Where can we find you coming up next? Do you have um, anything coming up? What do I got coming up? The next, the next thing I got coming up is back in. Uh, where, I, where, I, where am I? I, I <laughs> well, like, you were in Canada last week. I was week. in Canada last <laughs> week. I'm here now. Um, Are you gonna go home anytime I'm, soon? I'm sh- for pit stops to like re re lo- I mean re repack. I think the next thing is Colombia. I'm back in Colombia uh, first week of September. 
Um, I just found this out yesterday. I got like three dates, maybe four. Um, Buenaventura, Cali, um, Medellin, and possibly Bogota. Wow. And then I come back here, and then I got Philly on the 17th. Shout out Philly. Love Philly. City of brotherly love. I lived in South Jersey for a while, so Philly was like where I would go to get culture. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> South Jersey is <laughs> there's, yeah, there's, so, there's uh, a lot of land. A lot of land, Jersey. a lot of land. I did the farm life for a while, <laughs> quiet little farm life. You real know, real quick, when, when are we going to, to Columbia? Oh, uh, he said we. We, we, we're going to Columbia the, for the first or second week of <laughs> well, September. Well, you do need Let's social go. media coverage. I should. That, you know, that does make sense. I should have somebody recording all of this. You know, it makes sense, actually. It does make sense. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot. I work for Hasidic Jews, and September starts all their holidays, and I'm That's not right, allowed to leave. That's right. A lot of holidays, you're not allowed to leave. That's right. All right, so I want to thank you so much for coming thank and giving for us having your me. time. No problem. This um, was perfect. This was more than enough time to get everything in and talk about everything. Yeah, so thank it was you. a nice conversation. I told you, it's a first date. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I love it. Love it. So love we got to leave it open for another date. Absolutely. I'm like, <laughs> oh, and the 25th, I'm in Elizabeth. They know my schedule better than me. Oh. A fan just told me, yo, don't forget the 25th, you have the Elizabeth Puerto Rican Day Parade. Thank you for the reminder. Yes, I am. Wait, didn't the Puerto Rican Day Parade already pass? The uh, Jersey. York. Jersey is separate. Jersey's yeah. coming up, yeah. Jersey's coming up. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, we, we, we do have our own. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there is a Puerto Rican Day Parade in Chicago, too, just is so you know. Is there really? <laughs> wow. We really are dramatic, huh? Oh, no, we celebrate One is everything. not enough. One is not <laughs> everywhere. Enough. We have them everywhere. The national one is the New York one. That's kind of like the official one, but then there's like a bunch of other ones that happen. Well, all right. I want to thank you again so much. We're going to go downstairs and enjoy the rest of this afternoon at Rosa We're going to go bust a grub. Yeah, we're, yeah, at a, yeah. we're at a rooftop of a restaurant here. Uh, Rosa Parks. I mean, Parks. At, uh, Rosa's, Rosa's at Park. Rosa's at, Rosa's at Park. Yep. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. So I uh, heard a lot of good things. It's a great vibe already. I could tell. And uh, looking forward to, to eating and checking out the yeah. menu. We're, oh, I can't wait to. All right, yeah. so really quickly, I just want to give a shout out to Absalon, the official sponsor of the Mind Mink Show. Again, we are Mixed Vibes Radio, and we're here at Rosette Park. So thanks so much for joining in. It's a brand new week, so go own it and mind your favorite minks and join us next time. Thanks, Absolutely. everybody. Thank you. Have a great week. Bye bye. <laughs>